Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem A2 from 1998 Putnam Math Competition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how I approach this problem and what is the behind the scenes of getting to the solution and then I'll give, I will give you two different solutions. One of them requires a little, little bit of calculus and the other one is a very elementary pre-calculus solution. So here is the problem. Let S be any arc of the unit circle lying entirely in the first quadrant let A be the area of the region that uh, lying below S and above the x-axis. So let's draw a quarter of a circle. Now we have this is S below S and above the x-axis. So this is the first region. It's called A. And B is the area of the region lying to the right of the y-axis and to the left of S. So this region. And the question is asking us to prove that the total area A plus B is independent of um, the position of S and it only depends on the length of S. Okay, so since I know that this would have to uh, only depend on the length of S, it means it only depends on the angle that um, the central angle that S sub 10. So this angle is the one that has to, uh, the area, the total area should depend on. So A plus B would have to be a function of theta. Now, I don't know what this function is. So the first thing I'm going to do is to figure out what is this function. In order to be able to find this function, I'm going to place my S at a convenient location and then I will do the calculation. So what's the most convenient location? It would be at the end of this uh, quarter of a circle. So let's say it's right here. This is theta. So this would be our A and this would be our B and we will evaluate this total. So what is A? It's A is the green region. What is B? B is the red region. So we'll have to do double this area region. So if I call this one O, P, Q and R, A plus B is equal to the area of PQR, which is the green one, plus again the area of PQR plus the area of PSOR. So this is a function of theta. Once you think about this one, well, the area of PQR can be evaluated by taking the area of the sector. So take the area of POQ and subtract the triangle uh, PRO. So this is the uh, green region. And then we're adding the area of PSOR. So let's see what that is. So if you multiply by 2, you get twice POQ minus twice PRO plus the area of PSOR. Now let's evaluate these. So twice, what's the area of POQ? Well, this is a circle that is of radius 1, so their area is pi. But then the angle is theta, so I'll have to multiply by theta and divide by 2 pi. So this is the area of POQ minus area of POR. POR is a right triangle. Base is, so I have a 2 times 1 half. Base is um, cosine of theta and height is sine of theta plus and P E S O R is a rectangle and base and height are again cosine and sine. So these two in fact cancel. So the final answer would have to be theta. In fact, the answer to the problem would have to be theta. So I haven't really solved the problem, but I have figured out what this function would have to be. So how do we solve this one? Now, I will go over two different solutions to this problem. The first solution is a pre-calculus solution, and the second solution is going to be a calculus solution. This one, the first one doesn't require any knowledge of uh, calculus. So the green region is this one. This is A, and B is this one, is this area. Now notice that I'm trying to show that this the total area is theta, which is the angle. 
So now the sector, the area of the sector is theta over 2 as we evaluated here. So theta over 2 is the area of the sector. So I'll have to show that this total area is the area of the sector. So let's mark it. So this is the region that we are evaluating. It's a portion of a sector and a rectangle down here. And this is also the same. Now, if I look at the A plus B, and I'm going to call this point H, this point P, this point Q. This is going to be twice PQH. That region, that like uh, triangle-like region, it's not exactly a uh, triangle. One side of it is an arc of a circle. It is, uh, it is added twice, plus two rectangles. If I call this one STRW, it is plus PTSH plus QHRW. So this is what we get. Now, I would like to show that this is tw twice the sector. Well, I only ha I already have PQR. That's uh, twice PQR. I already have that there. So I want to relate these two rectangles, PTSH and QHRW, with the remaining of this sector. So let's draw this one. If you connect the origin to H, you see we have a triangle right there. This triangle has the same height. So let's write down the area of um, QHRW. This is QW times uh, RW. Or the other base of that is in fact HQ. But this is exactly the same as QW and OS are the same. OS times HQ, which is twice the area of triangle OHQ. Now, if I look at the other side, the area of PTSH, by the same logic, that is PH times PT which is the same as PH times RO, and that's exactly twice the area of POH. So PH times RO, RO is the height of that uh, triangle, is twice the area. Now if we add up all of these, A plus B becomes, becomes twice the sector O, P, Q. And what is the area of the sector? That's theta over 2. So the total is going to be theta, which only depends on theta. So this was a pre-calculus solution. So let me give you a calculus solution for this problem as well. So we're going to do essentially uh, evaluation of areas using integrals. So we are trying to find A. So A is the area underneath the graph of this function. This is y equals root 1 minus x squared. Now we need to know the limits. So if this angle is alpha and this angle is theta, then this point on the x-axis would be cosine of alpha and uh, or that would be actually cosine of theta plus alpha. And this point would be cosine of alpha. So A is going to be the integral from cosine of alpha plus theta to cosine of alpha root 1 minus x squared dx. So that's A. Now B, we would have to do an integral again, but this time x is a function of y. So x is 1 minus y squared, square root of that. And the limits are sine. So the first limit would be sine of alpha, and the upper limit would be sine of alpha plus theta. So B would be the integral from sine alpha to sine alpha plus theta root 1 minus y squared dy. Now we'll have to find A plus B. So let's evaluate A plus B. So this would be integral from cosine of alpha plus theta to cosine of alpha root 1 minus x squared dx plus integral from sine alpha to sine alpha plus theta root 1 minus y squared dy. 
Now, since we have root 1 minus x squared, it is best to uh, switch to uh, trig substitution. So we'll do x equals cosine of t, and of course dx becomes negative sine t dt, and we'll do the same thing for the other one. We will get y equals sine t dy is going to be cosine t dt. And the limits of t are already there. So this would be the integral from alpha plus theta to alpha root 1 minus cosine squared t minus sine t dt plus integral from alpha to alpha plus theta root 1 minus sine squared t and then cosine t dt. Let's evaluate this. This is integral. Negative sign, uh, we can take the negative sign and swap the limits of integration, alpha to alpha plus theta. 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared. Square root of that is sine. We have sine of t. And then we have another sine, so we get sine squared t. Plus alpha to alpha plus theta. Root 1 minus sine squared is going to be cosine. And again, everything is in the first quadrant, so we don't have to worry about absolute values. And of course, these two can be combined. So alpha to alpha plus theta of sine squared plus cosine squared, which is 1, and this is going to be theta. And that brings me to the end of this video. So I will see you in the next video.